Now let's tie in the description and the photo count. So let's go back to load the XML function and add a few lines to the bottom of that function. We already added the descriptions to an array and we have a global index floating around. So all we need to do is tell the text field to display the information. And you do that like this. Content dot disk text dot text equals string open parenthesis disk array open square bracket who was on close square bracket close parenthesis and on the next line let's type content dot pick num text dot text equals string open parenthesis open parenthesis who is on plus one close parenthesis plus quote space backslash space quote plus pick length close parenthesis test the movie and see if this worked all right we're making some progress let's tie in a timer that will switch the image every five seconds first things first we need to import the timer functionality before we can use it so go all the way to the type and type import flash dot utils dot timer and on the next line, type import flash dot events dot timer event. Now go down a line or two and type var switch timer data type it to timer and equal that to a new timer. And in the parentheses, type 5000. Next, we need to add an event listener to do something when this timer is triggered. So right underneath the timer, start typing switch timer dot add event listener open parenthesis timer event dot timer comma switch image close parenthesis on the next line let's start the timer simply type switch timer dot start open close parenthesis now we're going to go all the way to the bottom and start the function to switch the image so type function switch image open parenthesis evt colon timer event close parenthesis colon void open and close parenthesis and there are a few things we want to do in here first we want to increment the who is on index by one so type who is on plus plus next we need to take the image loader and load new information into it so the code is going to be similar to what we did the first time but all we need is the load function so type image loader dot load open parenthesis new URL request open parenthesis pick array open square bracket who is on close square bracket close parenthesis and test the movie to see what's going on well we need to tie the descriptions and the pick count so right under the image loader type content dot disk text dot text equals string open parenthesis disk array open square bracket who is on close square bracket close parenthesis and on the line below that type content dot pick num text dot text equals string open parenthesis open parenthesis who is on plus one close parenthesis plus quote space slash space quote plus pick length close parenthesis test the movie to make sure everything's working all right all right so far so good but it breaks after the last image we need to set up an if statement to say go back to the beginning if there are no more images left. All right, that's simple enough. While in the switch image function, go to the top of it and type if open parenthesis who is on less than pick length minus one close parenthesis and wrap that all that code in curly brackets. And at the close curly bracket, type in else open and close curly bracket so inside the if statement copy the chunk of code that's in there and paste it in the else statement the only thing that's going to change is instead of it being who is on plus plus change that to who is on equals zero and test the movie and see what happens one thing i notice is i get a blue flash in between images i can get rid of that if i double click onto the movie holder select the rectangle Go over to the properties panel and turn the alpha to zero. Now test the movie and see what happens. That looks a little bit better. Now that we got that working, let's set up this cool transition that I was talking about. First thing we need to do is import the functionality. So at the top, right under the timer class, type import fl 
dot transitions dot asterisk. And on the next line, let's type import fl dot transitions dot easing dot asterisk. Next, let's go to the image loaded function and add the following code. Pause the video and copy the code. Then test the movie and see what happens. Not about does it. Well, Pixel viewers, I hope my tutorial helped you out. Be sure to grab the XML slideshow zip from pixel.info or germbo.com. In that zip, you'll get all the files we worked on, the cheat sheets I talked about, and a tweaked out version of what we just built. Don't worry guys, I left plenty of comments. That's all I've got for this time, Pixel viewers. See you next time.